Hey everybody, welcome back. Kovac here, and for this one, we'll be doing a pet spotlight on Glimmer here. Looks like he's starting out with the Bone Serpent. I'm gonna go ahead and Lucky Dance. Oh, he's gonna go straight into a Call of Darkness. What a savage. Okay, let's go ahead and go into Trunks then. Not too sure if he has lift off or not. So, I think what I'll do is just go for an avalanche. Nope, he does have a death and decay. Okay. Well, I'm not going to miss any of these, and I crit with two of them. So, that was amazing, <laughs> to say the least. All right. Go ahead and pop him here, and then I'll be able to finish him off right here. Before he can get down another Call Darkness. Unless if he swaps. And if he does, he's going to take a lot of damage. Oh boy, what were you thinking there? Buddy old pal. Ah, oh, I tried to do a 50%. Didn't get it though. Ah, oh, okay. He went for... Drain Blood. Another 50%. Kinda technically... Should've landed that one. But it is what it is. It would've been great though. And he wasted his touch of animus. Okay, I suppose I won't complain with that. Uh, let me go ahead and bring in my Blaze Hound here. Get my trap down. Oh nice, it went off right away. That's what I like to see. And I should be able to finish him off right here. There we go, beautiful. And yeah, I think I want to go ahead and. Do I want to swap him out here? Because he's probably just going to hit me with a plague blood. Uh, I don't know. Let me go ahead and go into Glimmer here. Yeah, there goes the drain blood. <clears throat> Into the Bone Serpent, it looks like. We go ahead and lucky dance, I suppose. Definitely want to go ahead and swap them out here. Don't want to get hit by that call of darkness. I'm really relying on this trap at this point. Oh, perfect timing for your deflection there, buddy. Perfect. All right. That was basically a free turn to get that trap up. Oh, oh, all right. It went off. Thank goodness. Definitely needed that. That's for sure. Down goes the idol. Let's see. I'm not in kill range quite yet. I think it's going to be maybe a draw. If I had crit there, I, uh,. Could have potentially won, I don't know, but unless if he just absolutely misses all of these and whatnot, then yeah. Oh, oh, well, actually, no, it's not a draw, he actually won. <laughs> Thanks to his uh, undead racial there. Oh, well, it was pretty close. So let's go ahead and hop into hopefully this team here. Ought to do K versus him. Or maybe not. I mean, he did have an idol. That idol didn't get to do jack squad except go for a deflection there, which is hilarious. I've been seeing a bunch of people do that lately. Or they just go for deflection off cooldown or whatnot. Which is not what you want to do with an Anubis half idol. But uh, yeah, anyway, Glimmer. A uh, pretty cool pet. It uh, it still shows new here. I guess it's still kind of relatively new, although I think it's been out ever since, like uh, pre patch or something like that for Shadowlands here. Now it's got a little bit of a quest chain to get it. Over in the Grizzly Hills, you'll be doing quite a bit of things like uh, collecting some stuff, uh, killing some mobs. And then you actually do have to do a legitimate pet battle, but a pet battle is easy as crap. 
uh, just slap on a bunch of flying types and you'll be good to go because they're just all aquatics and I think only one of them was only uh, only one of them was actually rare quality so not hard at all it took me about 45 minutes to get so yeah glimmer is a pretty cool pet also I absolutely love that purple design on it too take a moment to uh, appreciate that Barnaby Barnaby you say oh, okay perfect Perfect. All right. Let's see. Going to uh, my glimmer now. Ooh, no stun. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Go straight into a lucky dance right here. Go ahead and get that up there. Ooh, that doesn't feel too good right there. A bone bite. Uh, let's see. Is it worth going for a whirlpool here? Or should I just go ahead and dip out here? He does have the wrong breed sneaky marmot there. So yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and go to my skittering eel. Try to get as much AoE as possible. Hoping for some crits with uh, this thunderbolt here. Thunderbolt did get its damage buff and skittering eel is a pretty great pet. So quite a bit of damage output right here. There goes the sneaky marmot. Oh, nice. All of it crit. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. Let me go ahead and go for some swallow you holes right here. Oh, a prowl, you say. Well, I really don't want to get hit by that on my eel. My eel is still pretty useful. Although... Uh, I don't know. Let me go ahead and go into my Blight Hawk here. He's an undead, so should be able to take it quite well. Thank goodness he did not have Chomp, because that could have potentially killed me. All right, let's see. No bur. Oh, he tried to. Thank goodness I didn't go for Cyclone. Yeah, he could have totally blocked my uh my Cyclone there with that smoke bomb. Cool. All right. So I think from here, just gonna go ahead and let him give me the free switch. Whenever he kills me, that is. Looks like Blight Hawks being able to get off quite a bit more attacks here. So definitely not gonna complain with the free damage. Now if I can get a ghostly bite off into one of these, that'd be great. But I don't think he's going to let me do that. He is going to let me do that. Thank you, sir or ma'am. Totally should have gone into Barnaby. But it is what it is. Okay. So, Glimmer or Skittering Eel. I really could go in either or, but I'm going to go into Glimmer. Hoping that he uses his Tornado Punch on me. That way he doesn't do that on my Eel. Oh, nope, he is going to save it for my eel. Okay. I should be fine, though, because even if he crits and stuns, it will not be the end of the world at all. And all I gotta do is hit him with a thunderbolt. Boom. Alright, let's see. Are you gonna get that stun? Nope, no stun at all, and dive for the win. Bada bing, bada boom. Barnaby, pretty cool pet. Don't see that pet a whole lot. Alrighty, let's see. Let's go ahead and queue up with... Um, let's go with this team. This team was uh, pretty great earlier when I was testing the waters with Glimmer. Got a win with it so far. Ooh, instant queue too. Oh dear. Oh boy. Got a top tier team going on here so hopefully my heels can pull me out on top of uh, this battle I don't even know what I'm trying to say um who to start out with let's go into the tone nimbler I guess I don't know 
kind of want to black claw and just go for flanks and uh, see what that does. Even if he swaps, I could pop him real hard with a primal cry. Yep. It's one of the amazing things about the toe nibbler here is even if you do that, look at this. Still gonna get you there. So I think I need to go ahead and bring in Glimmer here and use Ray of Hope. All right, there we go. Go ahead and drop these eggs here. Hopefully get some of them to land. Oh, he brings back an anomalous. <gasps> oh, 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 one of them landed. That's unfortunate. I was hoping for more than that. Uh, does he maybe have toxic fumes? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and punch him, though. Yep, he's going to change the weather on me. Oh... Anomalous. Okay. Uh, it's not looking too good for me. Uh, I'm just going to say that. Well, I should hopefully have a, uh, hopefully a better team that I can use versus him. I don't know if, I don't think my Pulsating Maggot's going to be able to really bring this one back. Yep, go straight for the AoE. Coward. Alright. Let's go ahead. Oh, triple hit right there, though. That's nice. I don't know. Let's see. So I can heal up quite a bit with this blood thing here. But I don't know if I can actually beat this armored vault bot. He has a lot of health, though. Okay. Uh, should I wait a turn? Because I'm going to get healed up for a lot. Uh, now, nah, go ahead and do it now. Let's see, yeah, it did bring me to full health. He's trying to get me lower in health so he could do that money meteor on me. It's going to be big ouchies right there. Oh, there goes the big ouchies. Alright, well, I just have to hope he hits on the low end or misses a whole bunch of those. He's not doing either, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Drain blood. <laughs> oh, I have to kill him before that comes off. Otherwise, I am screwed. I landed all those, of course he did. But I think I might be able to pull this one back, unless if he, like, crits or something. <gasps> oh, no. No way. No way. <laughs> oh, maggot for the win. I love this maggot so much. Thank goodness I was using the uh, extra power breed too. I do have the speed balance, which I need to probably stone at some point, but I'm loving the extra power on that. But holy, I pulled that one back like you would not even know. Dude, I bet he is so mad. And honestly, I don't care because if you look at his team compared to mine. <laughs> oh, I love the pulsating maggot so freaking much. Ugh, rematch. Okay. If you say so. Um, let's go ahead and start out with Bloodstone this time around. I am faster than him. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted to, uh, have come out. Oh, darn. Uh, I really don't want to get hit by... Well, I mean, he's probably going to go for a Money Meteor first. I'm going to get hit by that no matter what. Oh, I didn't want that crit, though, uh, Armored Vault Bot. You can definitely take that one back to the bank. Cash it out, if you will. Uh, let's go. Should I go into Maggot now? I don't know. He does have Toxic Fumes on uh, the one guy. Anomalous. See if I can get 
I plague blood on you right here. Get a little bit of a heal right there for him. Oh, brings in the anomalous. Okay. I'm get, not going to get as much healing there. Okay. Bloodstone Tunneler, come on back in. Oh, such a coward of a team with all this strong AoE damage. Uh, let's go ahead and acidic goo, I suppose. Hope I don't die from this. Okay. Beast racial is kicked in now. And go for a swallow you whole. Hopefully that's enough, plus that. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Looking pretty bad, not gonna lie. Looking really bad right here. But here I can change the weather on him. That will benefit the dragon here. Uh, let me go ahead and do that now. Wow, did it seriously have to crit? Uh, okay, let's just go ahead and punch him. I have my weather now, so there's that. Oh, that wasn't enough to kill me. Nice, I can punch him again. Okay. So at this point, I don't know if he's going to be able to actually take me down thanks to this. So <laughs> I think it might be GG's. I'm not going to call it too soon here, but guess we'll just have to wait and see. Looks like the Pulsating Maggot might bring this one back around for me. Because as long as I got sunlight, there is no way he can really, you know, out damage my healing. Unless he crits, of course. So, as soon as I get this drained blood here, I'm going to get so much health from him. So much health. Boom. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, blood thing now? Uh, let's just go ahead and... Yeah, let's, let's do blood thing now. He's going to get benefited a little bit from this with his um, mechanical ratio, but I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. I have so much health on my side, so I should be fine. Oh, there's a crit right there. Nothing too major, though. Just a couple more hits, and he will go down. Alright, well, even without my raptor there, pulsating maggot brought that one back again. Oh, lost twice in a row to the pulsating maggot. You... <laughs> my friend, not my friend, must be embarrassed, because I know I would be. So I really do want to kind of play this team, but with that crap running around, I really don't want to chance it. So I think I might go back to one of these other teams here. But, uh, you know, I'll take the wins, though against such a really strong team like that you know twilight meteorite he's got the damn money meteor and then of course anomalous is anomalous so although he wasn't playing as anomalous all too well he was going for like poison protocols first and and then using his weather or just using his weather to change mine and all that stuff which is usually not how you want to play an anomalous Okay, Kunjong Hatchling, ugh, the Fiendish Imp. Pretty tough team, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. I'll start out with Glimmer, in case he brings in that first. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. I could potentially get a lot of damage with this Egg Barrage here. Oh, okay, I hit with two of them. So that's great. That is really great. Let me go ahead and go into the maggot here. Oh, that crit was not very good. A little bit extra healing for my glimmer back there. For both the eggs and the humanoid racial. 
So I'll get quite a bit of healing right here. Or do I want to swap? Because I do have that. I think I'll just go ahead and go for my heal. Okay. Definitely don't want to get hit by that for sure. Bring in Glimmer again. Alright, well this is potentially... Ah, oh, he swapped. I was about to say, that was going to be quite a bit of healing right there. Uh, do I want him to go ahead and swap out Glimmer here? Yeah, I think that would be fine. Brings in my Maggot. Alright, back to the Son of Sea. You're still getting healed back there, Glimmer, so that's great. Uh, let's see here. So, I think I might want to save my Maggot for later. Maybe go into the Bloodstone Tunneler. Although, that's a mechanical ability, so I don't really want to get hit by that if he decides to go with that. Yeah, he's almost certainly going to do it right now. Oh, this is going to be a long battle, isn't it? He's got healing on this side, and I have healing on mine, too. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and swap here to the Bloodstone. Alright, so there goes his son of Seif. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to go for a Plague Blood. But who do I want that on, though? I guess the Bloodstone. Oh no, he went for a Drain Blood, okay. Oh wait, well I already have Plague Blood on me, what am I talking about? <laughs> I forgot. Alright, Kun Chong is in now. Try to get into City Goo into a Swallow You Hole on him. For some pretty big damage. Oh, he went ahead and did that. Okay. Ooh, I definitely want to try and get this stream blood off. Here we go. There goes his digest brains. Uh, let's go ahead and go for a plague blood. Go ahead and pop this ray of hope. Bye bye, Glimmer. Okay. Drain blood immediately. There we go. Look at that healing. He got quite a bit of healing there, too. Should be able to have him down, though, before he gets off that puncture, but I'm going to be taking quite a bit of damage. Alright, one more drain blood into his Kunchong, which has way more health than his Imp. Alright, here we go. <laughs> A guaranteed 280 damage. Now he's doing weak damage to me. Go ahead and let's see. This does do more damage. <laughs> You're gonna waste your time going for an immolation, I see. 
Hey, by all means, go for that. <laughs> if you'd like. It's just going to make my life a whole lot easier. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about the maggot. This is the matchup I was definitely wanting here because I knew if it came down to a uh, 1v1 with uh, the maggot and the imp, there's just nothing he could do. I got strong damage for days. I got healing for days. And uh, yeah, pulsating maggot, freaking amazing pet right here. <laughs> Absolutely love it. And definitely a really great pet to pair with uh, Glimmer. With uh, the Egg Barrage there because, you know, the Egg Barrage ticks along with the Humanoid Racial. Pretty great stuff. And it's unfortunate going against quite a bit of uh, top tier teams. I think I only lost one battle though, which is completely fine. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I kind of wanted to play with this team too. Played with it earlier, but, you know, with all the big competition going on right now, I uh, don't think I'm going to be able to do that. So... Now that I'm coming to a closing, I think I'll finally get a chance to talk about Glimmer here. So yeah, just a bit of a quest line. Uh, it starts out in, I believe, either Borean Tundra or was it Grizzly Hills on an iceberg. And there'll be like a scale or something, and that kind of starts out the quest. I'd just highly recommend looking up uh, Hazel's video on her, on Glimmer. It only takes about 40-45 minutes to uh, get to pet, pet, which is what I did. And, uh, yeah, overall, pretty great pets. Um, absolutely love the design, like I said. Pretty great breed. Uh, 295, pretty quick. You know, decent attack power and uh, over 1,400 health. Uh, I'm absolutely loving this Ray of Hope ability that's unique to Glimmer here, too, which is amazing. Uh, Egg Barrage, not half bad. You know, Decoy Breaker and all that good stuff. Uh, Lucky Dance, pretty great on a Cyclone team. And then you got your basic attack. I prefer punch. That way I have uh, strong damage versus dragon. So, yeah, pretty great stuff right here. So, yeah, if you're interested, uh, you can easily go get Glimmer for yourself right now. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed this one. And uh, until next time, have a nice day.